If you want it, don't sweat it, homie, go get it. If you're trying it, it gets you down, don't let it take it from me. You know, tell us what you're, why are you here? You know what I mean? I know I, you know, you just got in, you know, we've known each other for years, so like just, we were just like, just, you know, Well, what's interesting is that I hear a lot of, of people, um, I mean, including Jeff right here, and maybe some of you out there, that when they first heard about his power, it was, well, I'm not too sure about that thing. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And I wasn't, I wasn't that person. I was the person that was, no, I think it's going to work from the beginning. And, it's, and the reason is not because um, of anything other than the fact that I knew you. Sometimes you build relationships with people that, you know, they lived in a van in Costa Rica and didn't have a phone, so it wasn't that we were talking all the time. <laughs> it, it, was, it, was, it was the results that he was producing in the other scheme we were in, and it was literally, uh, he could hypnotize people, and I knew that he could do it, um, because there were people that would call me, I, I kid you not, there were, there were people that would call me from your team, and I would say, well, what is it that made you join David? And they said, because I got on his three-hour webinar, and he hypnotized me, and I got in. <laughs> it's the truth. And so I was always fascinated, fascinated by that, and, and I learned a long time ago that, uh, and I shared with my team the other day, that it's, if I, I'd rather be hokey, pokey, I'll try anything, hokey, pokey, and rich, than to be dignified and broke. Say that. Yeah. 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 I'd rather be hokey, pokey, and rich, than to be, you know, all stuffy and dignified and broke. Period. And so I, you know, I thought the hokey pokey stuff was working because he had a team bigger than mine. Uh, and we just never had the opportunity to work together. Now, around that time when Empower was starting, uh, there were some things going on, not just in my business, but in Nicole's business, in your business, uh, in other leaders' businesses. And we would talk on the phone or Skype or whatever. And we realized that something was happening in the marketplace and we were burned out. We were tired. Um, you know, I was sick of doing webinars three days out of the week from 9 to 11, and then people still emailing me, asking me questions about everything I just said right. in three hours. Uh, it didn't matter how many webinars, how many teleseminars, it didn't matter how many courses, it didn't matter uh, how many events, it didn't matter how many bonuses, how many super secret trainings, it didn't matter. People just, it was running us out. And it, it was, there was a gap in the marketplace, and I, I didn't know where to go. Uh, I know some other people didn't know where to go, but, you know, David is, is a pioneer, and he, he's a genius. Um, both David's are. He's an evil genius. <laughs> uh, and so when we were at an event, and we were both speaking in, at that other deal, uh, you know, we had, the speakers had tables, and you don't see any of that here, which is different in, in what we're used to. But we all had tables, and um, David had on similar gear, what he has on now. But with yellow armpits. With the yellow armpits. <laughs> And he won the bonus check. And we were in Orlando, and he had one of those big Mickey Mouse gloves, a hand. And he had that hand, and he carried that check around with that hand around the resort. And there was a big corporate uh, conference going on. Nice high boy tables and hors d'oeuvres, and all the people very dressed in their you know, corporate stuff. And Dave's walking around with the armpit shirt and a check, and a hand with Mickey Mouse. <laughs> And the check is facing forward, it said like 30 something thousand or whatever. It's like a bonus, right? And I just kind of watched David walk around. I knew he had a secret meeting. He always had secret meetings, right? And so I, and I just kind of watched him and I asked him, would he take a picture? Can I take a picture of him with that, that Mickey Mouse deal? Um, and so I did it. And then it wasn't too long after that, in the hallway, Dave Sharp actually said, well, you know what? And I had never really met Dave Sharp, but at that time, Dave had a training on Craigslist. I don't remember. It seems like it's so long ago. Right? He did some stuff on Craigslist, and, and I kind of tapped into that. And so I knew who he was, and he goes, you know, Tracy, I want to talk to you about something. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Um, because we were busy, right? We were busy. You're speaking at the event. You're trying to sell stuff at your table, and you're trying to do all that. Uh, and so I never made it around hanging out with these guys at the 30-person secret meeting in the same hotel I was in. In fact, Nicole was nine months pregnant, eight months pregnant, and went to the meeting. or hung out with you guys at the pool. And then, um, so she comes back and she goes, yeah, I spoke with Dave and Dave, but girl, I'm just tired. I, uh -uh. I don't have time for that. I'm tired. I don't want to handhold. I don't want this. I don't want that. 
So I said, well, I'm going to Skype you guys when I get home. And we did. We had that conversation. I said, well, Dave, what is it really? He goes, oh, it's just, you know, it, it's really a scam. We're just shifting money around. Don't worry about it. Just get it. <laughs>
and, and I ran with it from, from day one. Um, I didn't really know anything about anything when we hit the issues with the merchant accounts. I didn't, I didn't care. See, that, I, didn't, I was tired. Anybody ever been tired? Yeah. yeah. When you're tired, there's just certain things that they, they, they're not monsters in your universe. To me, the merchant account was not a monster in the universe. Because day to day, I figured one of it, the vision was big enough for all of us. And so if we just rallied around them and supported them as leaders, and, and I think most all of us did, everybody that was here at the beginning is here now, uh, whether you took the time off or not, we're here now, uh, I figured they would figure it out. And we did twice. Right? And during that time, I was almost like a slave driver. My team will tell you I was. Don't call me with, I can't process. Don't call me, I can't process either. <laughs> so I'm still on this call, blog every day. You always complain about content, write something every day. Right. And since the merchant account isn't working, then you shouldn't have to worry about not getting sales. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time they figure it out with the merchant account, you should have at least 30 pieces of content ready to rock and roll loaded up on your blog, ready to go. And as soon as Dave and Dave come out and empower our call and say we're back up and running, you should be able to hit submit and you should be able to start rocking and rolling. That was my theory. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think it was. It was a hunch, but I trusted your hunch, and so I, I had my own hunch, and we just rolled from there. And, and look at the team. <laughs> Hip-hop like Cedar and Sedwick I knew I loved music, ideas sparked the fuse lit I had talent and knew it, but had yet to prove it, yo I ran the ciphers and the show stupid And when I could